last week on the season. When he came back, he was a different young man. I mean, he was locked in. He was, you know, he was focused on what he wants to do, on his goals. He came in and he earned his way back, and uh, he's been awesome. And so glad to have him, you know, still for another year. He's how they gonna end up looking. So you got that Atlanta on the side, and like these Olympic pants, got a little Olympic stuff on the back and whatnot. It all originated from my mom, like. Back when she was in school and whatnot, she loved the dress and whatnot. Hand off straight ahead. Judkins got a first down. He may go. 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Ole Miss. Levis. Batted out of the air. Jared Ivey knocked it out for Ole Miss. And Tavius Robinson has recovered. going on? Come uh, check out the collection. As a kid, I was always like full of a lot of energy. My parents were bugged a lot of the time um, when I was in the house because I always had a lot of energy. So they tried to keep me busy. I think my parents kind of figured out, hey, you know, we can keep Mason quiet for a couple hours if we get him a Lego set. So that became it. Like Christmas, birthdays, Valentine's Day. If there was a holiday, I was using it as an excuse for me to get a Lego set. It was always just something that I kind of uh, clung to, like sports. I think I found a lot of uh, solace in me building Legos and more like me as a person. I think as I got more comfortable with myself and who I wanted to be, just kind of understood like this is something I like and you know, it's nerdy and it might not be everyone's cup of tea. And um, you know, there's other nerdy things that I like. I'm really into Star Wars and um, different stuff like that. But it was cool for me because I think I'm able to show people, hey, look, you know, I'm an athlete, I'm big and scary. You'll see me with face paint on. I want to, you know, rip a dude's head off on Saturday. And, and I love being that guy and being aggressive and, and being competitive. But there's stuff that I like outside of football. And first I was like, wow, this kid's kind of weird. <laughs> I told you. And then I was like, you know what I mean? It's not really that weird. And then we just kind of like started, I don't know, just kind of looking at them. And I mean, they're kind of cool. Very unique, I would say. But I will say very, very expensive. <laughs> very expensive for Legos. I will say that. Yes, what's the most expensive Lego set that he's bought? If you could guess. <laughs> this is a good touch. I'd probably say like just one or like. Yeah, just one set, like one box. Probably like $500. Mm -hmm. That's pretty accurate. You know which one it is? It's probably one you haven't even put up yet. Is it? The big giant one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I brought that home and Broker was like, why did you buy that? And I was like, I don't know, I just liked it. And he was like, I don't even want to ask how much it costs. <laughs> hey, it beats, Jeremy spends all his money on rust, so, you know, pick and choose your battles. Mason Brooks arrived in Oxford as a two-year starter from Western Kentucky. And much like a piece in a Lego set, the offensive lineman is in search of where he fits in best. When I was a younger player, I, I played at a really young age, kind of like Jaden is now um, and Micah, and I leaned so hard on the older guys um, you know, for just advice off the field, kind of like bigger brothers. And I don't think I'm necessarily quite that role, but anytime that I can help a guy with anything, um, you know, whether they're in my position or not, I'm all on board. It is a team of a lot of transfers, and we are a lot of different guys from different spots, but no one really bats an eye here, and they all just kind of accepted us. and. Um, being part of that is is really special. You know, I didn't really come here for the exact reason that I feel like I'm here right now, but I don't think life hardly ever works out exactly like people have planned, and that doesn't mean that you're not valuable and you're not an asset and you don't have a lot to bring um, to the table. And for me, it's just been great to work a new position and, and to learn and grow and, you know, when I talked about it with my dad the other day. You know, I came here to challenge myself, and 
that's what's happening. And so it's great to be challenged. Um, and so I'm trying to just take it as an opportunity for me to grow as a better player. I am taking it as that. And so every day is an opportunity for me to get better at one thing or a couple things. And, and that's how I'm operating. And I feel like I'm making strides. And when, when my number is called, I'm making sure that I'm going to be ready to go. Um, you know, and that wasn't the initial plan, but that's where we're at now. And that's what Lane preaches. And so that's what I want to be about. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me, geeking out with me and, and my roommates uh, doing some Legos. Uh, appreciate y'all. We'll see y'all around. The Rebel football team has made the most of its early home slate. But now it's time to pack for the road. Make sure they have their shoulder pads, which he does. Navy helmet, because we're wearing Navy helmets this weekend. Two pairs of cleats, a pair of thigh pads, knee pads. He does not have two pairs of cleats. Now he does. So I like things to be done a certain way. Uh, I'm very a neat person. I want things done very neatly. So like, I guess my mom taught me well when I was young to have things in order. So like obviously if none of this stuff is in order, I get in trouble for it. <laughs> so I'm very organized. If I can the truck is it's very hot in there because there's no air. On a day like today when it's almost 90 degrees. All right, load the truck. Tetris time. Ken, have you ever played Tetris? Please tell me you have. Tetris is an old game. Tetris is an old game, old people game. Make sure everything's tight. And we have no extra room. Look at KD helping us. KD. We appreciate you. Man, I really appreciate what these guys do, man. Mr. Ken, equipment crew, they awesome. We got the best equipment crew in the nation. Shout out to Mr. Ken, the OG. Yeah, doing the, this is not even nice. Cause Santa Claus is, uh, most Santa Clauses are here checking them. Oh yeah, that's a big workout. Whichever one was throwing up there stinks. Jalen Cunningham. Hey, that's that's not that's not funny. I'm a very Ow! I'm a very hard worker. Don't let them fool you. You've heard it from my boss himself. Technically I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking to you. Everybody on the season, everybody watching. Look at his shirt. He's never been on the truck before in his life. Look at the shirt that's right there. A little expose. That's a lot. Look at that that's right there. Lot. Nobody, oh. Dateline NBC. It's like eating crawfish. You, got, you don't go to a crawfish bowl and eat with the white shirt. You go with dark shirts. I don't eat crawfish. Next up, the Ville, baby. Woo! Let's go. Smash. Well, Josh, it's been fun. See you in Nashville. On the eve of the game in Music City, the team is rewarded one final time for the win over Kentucky. Man, you got to get turnovers. You win a turnover battle, you get ice cream. You see me here. But the man you need to talk to is AJ. He get out of turnovers. I didn't, I didn't force a turnover last week. It was my man Austin. They got it confused. It's the, it's the world famous turtle, Austin Keys, that forced a turnover last week. But I will enjoy this ice cream. Now, what kind of turtle is Austin Keys? Is he Franklin? Like, what kind of turtle? Is he Ninja Turtle? What kind of turtle? He's all of them. Franklin, Michelangelo, any turtle you could think of. Snapping turtle, sea turtle, the wildest turtle there is, Austin Keys. Austin, you made all this possible. Thanks for me taking you right now. No comment. Do you think uh, Miles put some barbecue sauce on his uh, ice cream, too? I believe he do, too. Wait, yeah. Matter of fact, come on. No, he ain't do it today. 
Do what? Put barbecue sauce in your, in your ice cream. So, no, not my ice cream. I put on my beef tenderloin though. Why? You disgust me. <laughs> what? And then we're gonna put some Oreos on top of the M&M's. And that's how we gonna do it. Yeah. Straight out of Mississippi with it. And this is how we gonna eat our ice cream. Bro, Atlanta was, Atlanta gave us butter. They almost put us all out. <laughs> Bunch of butter. This shit? Not this safe. Shit. This shit. This shit. This shit. This shit. Alright. Last, last time we were butter. <laughs> when we was at Georgia, they tried to get us. We had butter on my ice cream at Georgia Tech. Zero out of ten, do not recommend. I'm boring. I just go vanilla. Vanilla with nothing. I don't know. I'm a bit crazy like that, but it's what you gotta do. Man, like, we got the strawberry on the bottom, but like, we're doing the cookies and cream on top. They don't have a cookies and cream for me, so I made my own. I do what you gotta do. She gonna give us Oreo. Vanilla Oreo. One of these brownies, I don't know. I gotta get a brownie too. He's waiting for Oreos. And you're not gonna get them. She said it come. Fresh Oreos. So Oreos aren't fresh. It's not like a fruit. Fresh pack Oreos, I need it. <laughs> you heard what he just said, talking about Oreos not good. That's his start bill stuff. <laughs> he ain't like Arthur, bro. Arthur right in here. You ain't he ain't right in the head. <laughs> it ain't about that action. Good, got me a little blizzard like I'm a Dairy Queen. Hey, hand me one of those. Yeah. Hey, hey. See this guy? Thank you. He kind of created this, right? Turnovers get it done, and you, of course, did you turn over. Did we actually? Oh, wow. Shout out the keys, man. Couldn't do it without him. Shout out the keys. The 97th meeting between Ole Miss and Vanderbilt. When Vanderbilt and Ole Miss square off, it almost never goes as expected. Right at the line of scrimmage again, the snap goes past the quarterback. Going back to pick it up is Dart, throws it far side and throws it away. Fourth down, Ole Miss is going for it. Dart keeps it, throws on the rollout, incomplete. The top-ranked Rebels couldn't get in tune. Jackson Dart takes the snap. Fakes the handoff, wants to throw, tons of time in the pocket. Now sidesteps a man and runs out to his left, looking downfield. He's going to fire it into traffic and throws an interception at midfield. Picked off by the Commodores. He had the time. While the doors were hitting all the right notes. Second and five, Swan throws, sets up the screen to McGowan, and look out for the true freshman. He's got speed down the sideline, cuts back near the goal line, and scores. Joseph Bolivis was good from 23 earlier. This one from 34 is drawing between the uprights and good. We might have a situation unfolding in the Music City. Third down and six. Dark Pumps throws complete. Watkins, the seed part for the Louisville transfer. He runs past defenders and into the end zone. Touchdown, Jordan Watkins. Let's go! The Watkins score turned what looked like a Vandy solo into the football version of dueling banjos. But the doors refused to leave center stage. Swan to throw, over the middle, complete. And that's enough for a first down, Commodores. Wright gives it to Davis, who walks in for a Vanderbilt touchdown. That was easy. The nearly 10-minute drive drained the first half clock and handed Ole Miss its largest deficit of the year, forcing Dart and the Rebels to showcase their two-minute drill for the crowd. Deep down the middle, he's got his man, Mingo. Mingo is there! Brings it in inside the five. Jackson Dart is under center. Don't see this.
this very often. Judkins gets the call right up the gut and scores. Touchdown, Ole Miss. OG Mingo. OG. OG, that's crazy. OG. OG is that. Let's come out and have him put 50 on there. Oh, man. Let's go out there, man. Hey. Do your job, you ain't got to press to go try to go make no play, but do your job, but go play harder, go play faster, go play more physical, go play fearless. Everybody understand that? Get the call, communicate, and let's go to work. Everybody understand me? Here we go. We did exactly what we're not supposed to do. We didn't play physical, we didn't finish guys, we turned the ball over, okay? And we don't get off the ground on third down, okay? We got to get off on third down, all right? Stay in our zone, stay deep, let the ball in front of us, okay? Let's play physical, man, one snap at a time, let's go out, all right? We messed around, that's fine, all right? Okay, so now we gotta go do, so what, now what? Yes, sir. So what, now what? Yes, what do you do now? Let's You're go. going to play like you gotta make the play every time. The Rebel offense came out of the locker room on a mission. This Vanderbilt defense has stood tall today. Dark with time, and he throws right sideline, complete to Jordan Watkins again. First down for Ole Miss. Back to throw, darting in a lot of times, swings it near side. He's got Evans. Evans lowers his head, and wow, what a stick. Hand off, Evans runs left. He's got some room to the 20, 15 to the 10, breaks the tackle to the 5, into the end zone. Touchdown, Ole Miss. Hello, Zach Evans. Rebels in front. The whole line. Swan takes the snap. And he swings it out to Davis. That might be a backward pass. Tennyson has it for Ole Miss at the five-yard line. I think that's going to be Ole Miss ball on a fumble, and it is. Yeah. With the help of an opportunistic defense, the lane train ground out two quick scores. Judkins, the running back, who gets the call, and the freshman goes right into the house. Touchdown, Ole Miss. You know, give me one-on-one. -on -one. That's the worst thing you can ever do, bro. <laughs> And in the blink of an eye, Vanderbilt's homecoming has turned from a celebration for the Commodores to the lane train locomotive chugging. Swan to throw, has time deep down the near sideline, one-on-one, tipped away, good coverage by Igman Nosen. Man, is he playing above his years. Second down and nine, handoff on a jet sweep from McGowan. He's in trouble in the backfield, in real trouble. Oh, lost the ball for a moment. It's a loss of nine as Vandy recovers. How about the difference in halves? We showed the offense. What about this Ole Miss defense? Smith to his right shoulder. There's the snap. Swing route near side. Smith, Smith hit and dropped at the 28-yard line, line of scrimmage, and the Rebels will take over. The Doors couldn't replicate their first half rhythm, but the Rebels had more chart toppers in store for the Music City. Dart takes the snap, takes the hand off to Judkins, has time, Mingo over the middle, wide open, caught the 40, he's gone. See ya, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Ole Miss! 18 point lead for Ole Miss, they trail entering the third quarter. Rebel fans into the game now. A lot of, a lot of Vanderbilt people leaving. Fakes the toss to Judkins and swings it underneath the Mingo. Makes the catch of the 30, 35, 40. As Jonathan Mingo breaks free, and he might be gone. Mingo has scored one long touchdown today. Make it two. Put this thing on ice. 72-yard touchdown, Rebels. Mingo. He's making some money today. His name OG. Oh. That's the boss man at base. He bought the right to base. That's the boss man. His face was insane. Jonathan Mingo's performance was a smash hit and placed him atop the Rebel record books for single game receiving yards at 247. Scope, scope and pass, guy. Scope and pass. Overtaking the spot held by his former teammate Elijah Moore. Wow, the old miss hurrying up to get a playoff. Jones in for the touchdown. It's a 50-burger for the Rebs. A final curtain call by freshman Matt Jones would bring this trip to Nashville to a close in perfect harmony. 
Ole Miss trailed at halftime. They scored 35 straight. They end up winning this game big. 52 to 28, the final on homecoming here in Nashville. One to know once again. One to know. Uh, back to the draw board again. One to, one to know one more time. Miles better, man. Send them home, sad, man. Another home invasion series, man. Zero punts, zero losses. Rebs are hot, baby. Big dubs. That's all we know how to do. Get a win. Take it back to the crib. We ain't your trap. We take over your trap. Six and zero. On to the next one. Last time we won't say, hey, we're going to keep you going. Don't let the Rams get hot now. Score from far all the time. Glad to come out with a dub on the road, man. Get ready for next week. We're going to come out hot. So we played a really poor first half, okay? But I will say this, all right? You really responded. After they scored with one minute left, okay, in the second quarter, okay, you went down and scored, and you outscored that team 42 to 8, okay? 42 to 8. All right, so that, that's that's great football. We turn the ball over twice, okay? We don't we don't tackle very well at all, okay? Especially in the secondary. All right, guys. So that game gets to be what it was. All right. So we got to learn from that. We've got to improve, okay? Just like there's some weeks, one area, run game, pass game, run defense, pass whatever it is, okay, is going to do well. And then the other then the other area's got to improve, okay? So let's just go back. Let's get better. All right. Get back home. Get ready for a big game. How about Matt Jones, man? Yeah. Good story, man. Y'all just do good. Hey, worry about what you control. Again, here's another story of a guy never come in, complain. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. Just down on the service field, okay? Throw it. Guy just score a touchdown. Yeah, we came out second half while better than the first. Had the right mentality, and you see how our team is. We come out firing at all cylinders. You know, we got to tribute that the rest of the way for these next six games and uh, finish this thing off strong. Steve's going for it. Steve's going for it. I'm passing it. We're going to see tomorrow who had the best speed, and I bet you I won. <laughs>